Hey Sprinters, today we talk what to do in bull markets, in strong markets. First thing is we need to understand what is signal and what is noise. Are we in a bull cycle? In which stage? Is it beginning of the bull cycle, the middle of the bull cycle, end of the bull cycle? It's hard to know exactly where we are, but we can know roughly in which stage we are. And this is enough for now. So we're talking today investment system. And if you're new here on this channel, we talk about your, you create your revenue systems. The first one is how you earn and how you can increase profitability. The second one is how you can save and um, currently the best saving is Bitcoin. And third, how can you put a small part of it, the part that you don't need over the next eight to 16 weeks and can invest that in order either to build your wealth via concentrated portfolio or keep your wealth via a diversified portfolio. And we don't give investment advice, but I share with you what I have learned over the years on how to create an investment system. And I will tell you what I'm buying, what I'm selling and how I decide and how I structure my decisions so that you can create your investment system. And why do we need a system? Why can't we just pick something and win? Because it doesn't work that way. In this way, you would have emotions in there. And if you have emotions there, you are sure to lose money. So investment system means you need a system for portfolio construction, for asset selection. You need an entry system and an exit system without emotions. You need a research system when a buddy says, hey, this is gone, this is gone out 100x. Oh, really, let me go through my 10 points research checklist and I will tell you in an hour if I believe it also or if I found some uh, signals, uh, some, some red flags. And um, from time to time you need to rebalance and to take profits. So in this channel we go over every single one of them. Today we talk specifically what to do in a strong market. Last video was about what to do in a weak market. Today, what should we do in a strong market? So we have a portfolio con constructed. We know how much we allocate in crypto, uh, in percentage, in stocks in percentage, in cash in percentage, etc., cetera, in, in real estate in percentage. We know which assets we find generally valuable. So we bet that they will be around in five years. We have an entry system, we have an exit system, and we know how to research. And now it's about rebalancing. So we, I do this every Sunday, half an hour. I look at the markets while my kids sleep. I look at the markets and, um, and then I look at, the, at, at my overall portfolio construction. If you don't know it, it looks like this. So what's my cash percentage, my crypto percentage, my alternatives, my real estate and my stocks? And what's the ideal and uh, do I need to do something? What's the gap? And if the gap is, for example, here, like a 10% gap, then I look at that category and go through that category to rebalance. Now, in a strong market, we just don't buy anything. Strong market is time to take cash, to, to take profits, to build cash positions because the next bear market will come. Things always evolve in S curves. So you have always a, a curves cycles going and while one cycle starts, the next cycle ends. So you have always wave waves and wave formation stages. And uh, in a bull market, the cycle is, is an up cycle and in the bear market the cycle is a down cycle but the waves will always be in an s shape and they will always go up and then go down again and the next wave goes up 
like the ocean. Study the ocean, then you know wave formations and cycles. Now, what do I do during a strong market? I buy nothing and I review all the growth rates. So I go through my assets and see which one was growing at how much percentage. In order to do that, you need to create, I have a spreadsheet that you can use. It's at strategiesprints.com slash tools and you can download my spreadsheets because it has the cost position, when did you buy and the percentage growth rate since then. And so it's already, you don't need to build a spreadsheet. I like building spreadsheets. So I built one for me and I'm sharing it with you. And um, then, so I see exactly, oh, this went up 112%. Hmm, okay. And then I review my assumptions on risk. So are my assumptions on risk still valid? For example, this is an assumption on risk. I think that the, the most safe asset right now is Bitcoin, but also the reward will be lowest. Then there are more risky things like Solana and Ethereum. And then there are very risky things like Polkadot, Chainlink, Matic. And then there are absolutely speculative high risk thing like Solent or Phantom or uh, Decentraland that uh, are very, very small positions. And basically that's just betting. Uh, that's really casino if you want. Nothing I, I recommend and nothing that I would personally put in more than 0.5% of my overall portfolio. Now, review assumptions on risk. Is the risk curve still like that? Is it true? Did something change? Am I biased? Uh, for example, right now, the metaverse play is coming. And right now I'm reviewing how will that curve evolve? We are obviously at the beginning of the curve, but which part of the beginning? Is it really begun or is it at the very, 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 very pre-beginning. So um, where are we in that curve? How long will that curve last? Is it five years? Is it 10 years? And um, these are my assumptions on the cycle and what, what's the next S-curve coming and what's the NFT curve look like, etc. So review assumptions on what to hold. Right now, it's very clear for me. I hold forever Bitcoin. I will never sell it and I, I sell everything else. That's my personal um, assumption right now on what to hold and what to sell. And so the risky stuff I sell and the depreciating stuff I sell and the appreciating safe stuff I hold. And the only safe appreciating thing right now is Bitcoin according to my numbers and do your own research and find your own numbers. And then what happens is whenever something doubles, so grows by 100%, I sell 50% of the shares of the asset. When it doubles again, I sell 25%. And when it doubles again, uh, I sell 12.5%, etc. ad infinitum. One example recently, uh, I bought 100 Tesla shares at 301 in, in August 2020. I then Tesla reached in December uh, $602 per share. I sold 50 shares. It reached $1,204 in November 2021. I sold 25 shares. And whenever it would hit 2,400, I would sell 12.5 shares. Now, why I have picked this kind of exit strategy and not others and how you can pick your own. I think the important thing is that you leave emotions out. So you need a system that you can trust based on numbers, based on reality, on what's really going on and not based on you know, I feel now a rush to do something or I have to do something. As soon as you feel that, stop doing whatever you do. Go back to your system 
go through your checklist, do one step after the other. So no emotions in investing, just reality. And this is something that helps me. So I don't, even if I'm super excited about something, I go through the checklist. It takes me half an hour to an hour to do it. By that time, I'm, I'm emotionless again. And uh, I'm, I'm more rational. And um, this is what to do in strong markets. Basically, keep cool, buy nothing and learn. Learn from your observations. Learn because it will take you years to learn the main thing. What is the main thing? The main thing is what is signal and what is noise. This is the main thing to learn the difference between signal and noise. What is noise? All the everything that has a dog on it is noise, basically. What is signal? Signal is everything that tells you real market cycles, really where the S curves are and what is going on and what's next and what the real trends are. That's based on numbers and on cycles and on fundamental analysis and on technical analysis. Fundamental analysis is everything long term over 12 months. Technical analysis is everything short term. So this is what you do in strong markets. The most important thing is no emotions systems. Instead, that will help you keep your um, earned wealth and the wealth that you created and it, that you want to either grow or uh, have as a legacy to coming generations. So hope that helps. Enjoy the strong markets and uh, keep rolling.